What is going on, everybody? It is David Palmer, Leo King, and it is June 20th of 2017. It's a Tuesday, and we are hours away from the summer or winter solstice, wherever you're at in the world. But this is the big moment where the sun peaks out. And it's quite an exciting time always in astrology, but more importantly, just in life, living on Earth, because we are having the longest days, we are having these great aspects, and there's also a lot that means to pay attention to when it comes to the turning of the tides. There is a big turning happening here. We are turning the energy, and it's going to be a lot to talk about. So thanks so much for joining me today. Holy camoly! Whether or not, uh, wherever you've been the last, you know, three, four days sludging through the Chiron energy, I just want you to know that uh, <laughs> Chiron does exist. If there is one, and it's not even a planet, I think that's so funny, you know, Chiron, whether you look at it as an asteroid, whether you look at it as a deformed planet, whether you look at it, there's so many ways to look at Chiron, but you know, however you look at Chiron, if you don't believe in astrology, what happened in your life Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and even yesterday? Like, woo! The sun square in that aspect. You got to remember, especially Chiron at the last degrees of Pisces. Oh, man, when you face that, it could be some really weird stuff that you confront, some really weird stuff you got to battle on through. And boy, oh, boy, was that... Um, Pretty difficult, whether you had to deal with loss, whether you had to deal with frustrating aspect. I always, I try to think of a good analogy of Sun Square Chiron, and the best analogy that I could come up with is, like, whenever you're trying to put on a shoe and you don't have a shoehorn, and it's like, oh, and I can't get the shoe, and oh my gosh, and you're five hours late, and you're trying to get there, and you're sweating, and now when you try to put your button on, the button pops off, and oh my gosh, it's like that frustrating energy, just like, uh, can I get through this? And when it's at the last degrees of Pisces, literally, it's like, oh boy, you just kind of have to say F it and surrender and let go. And oh man, and not too easy to do. I forgot to mention that we are live uh, on Facebook and I actually, I'm lying. I haven't been live uh, in the chat room yet. I'm just joining it right now. So I'm here in the chat room. Yo, yo, yo. Anyway, so... Somebody just said they, they lost their dad. I just want to say I'm so sorry. There's, I know there's been a lot of loss lately and very, very traumatic loss. I have a friend of mine who lost a bunch of people in the last 30 days. You know, it's hard. You know, Chiron and Pisces is hard. And, and, and at the last degrees, it's the hardest. And so the sun highlighted that. And, and this poor sun in Gemini just wants to have fun and Enjoy life with the sextile to Uranus. It's, it's been a time where it's, it, we've wanted this freedom. We've wanted this to just live our life and, and go about the cabin completely. But, uh, you know, there's these weird things that have been pulling us in a lot of weird directions, you know. So, and like somebody just said, it, it's been a very trying time. Somebody said it's been a very confusing time. But at the end of the day, it's also been a very empowering time. You know, Uranus and Aries is about empowering yourself, your strength, and your courage, and finding new ways to do it through very traumatic situations sometimes. We can rise above and rise up and elevate that strength. So that's one thing to talk about. Let's move to some much more positive things like the summer solstice. So let's take a look at what we've got here so that's happening literally at 9.24 p.m. tonight Pacific time as the sun will enter into Cancer. And this will be the start of the longest day and the shortest night in the Northern Hemisphere and the longest nights and the shortest day in the Southern Hemisphere. But this is the chart for... The solstice. Now, you can always say that the chart for the solstice is what's about to come through this summer. And it's an interesting summer because of the solar eclipse that's coming, because of, of course, this Mars element that's about to come into squares with Jupiter, uh, Uranus, and Pluto. Then, of course, we've also got the big, big summer with, of course, Mercury going retrograde in Virgo this summer. We also have got... What was the other big thing that I'm missing here? Solar eclipse. Oh, the new moon that comes a month from the 20th, which is going to be at zero Leo, and it's going to have Mars conjunct that one. 
And so that's going to be a big boy. That's happening on my birthday, July 23rd, believe it or not. So quite a summer to look at here, right? There's going to be a lot of big, powerful things this summer. The biggest fire you will see in a long time. Like, actually, if I were to think about it, and if we were to actually, like, really do the math, right? So let's do some fun math. Here's Saturn leaving a fire sign, okay, right? So I'm going to do this next to the fire signs, all right? For those that don't know, well... Okay, there we go, okay? Saturn is leaving in December of 2017, and it will leave fire until set about five and a half, well, it's about, yeah, like about five years until like 2021 or two, you're right? Um, it, it, it actually, even longer than that, 2022, 23, when Saturn comes into Aries. That's the next time that you'll have Saturn in fire, Okay. Jupiter isn't going to be in fire or air for after it leaves here for until it gets here until like 28, 20, yeah, what is it? 2018, right? So the end of 2018. So that's going to be a while. Um, Uranus is moving into Taurus next year, coming back into Aries, but then coming back and finishing in Taurus. So the truth is, is Uranus is leaving a fire sign. So this is the last summer you're going to see when the sun especially comes into Leo with a big solar eclipse, right? Bump it a bump and the North Node, bump it a bump and Uranus and Aries, bump it a bump and Saturn and Sagittarius, bump it a bump and Mars in Leo, bump it a bump. Like, I'm going to do bump and a bump for every time there's fire. You're not going to see this much fire for a long time, folks. We're talking years, 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 okay? You know, like, it's just not going to be that fiery for a while. And how ironic that on the solstice that we are going to have a shit ton of water come in to try and, I guess you could say, Water the plants so they don't burn during the fi- this season of fire? I mean, this is going to be an explosion summer. The most fire you've seen in a long time. This big solar eclipse coming in Leo, trining Uranus with a slight trine to Saturn, with the North Node in Leo, with, I mean, Jupiter in an air sign, amplifying it all. And then, of course, you've got Uranus. We already brought up Uranus. We're going to have Mars in Leo with a lot of that aspect. So you're not going to see a lot of this fire for a long time, everyone. So this solstice is important because it's important for the fact that it's time for you to realize there is a major opening happening in the universe of light. There's a video I did called, uh, you know, it's a Palladian channel video I did. It's on YouTube. And I want to make a special offer. Before we go into more astrology, I'm going to make a special offer for people. So this is what I'm going to do. And everybody can watch me do it literally on my iPad together, okay? So let's go to YouTube, all right? Let's go to, okay, uh, oh yeah. Let's just go into my 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 channel all right the palladian message video okay if so i'm going to share this on my facebook right now okay this is about the summer and the light and the energy so i'm going to say like share this video for a chance to win a free tier four plus combo school ticket. Oh, did we lose it? What's going on? iPads. So what basically by tomorrow night, I am going to pick Somebody that will get a free ticket to my school and it's the full bore by sharing this video. And I'm going to look and see, but it has to be shared from my Facebook so I can tell. So that's why I'm going to share it now. You know, let's just change it. Big summer uh, ahead. 
Are you ready? Um, I hate that my, uh, okay, are you ready? Okay, yeah, blah, 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 question mark. Okay, so I'm posting that. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to share this video so you guys can get an opportunity to win, okay? So it's pretty simple. When you go to my Facebook, David Lawrence Palmer, you share, share, write post, and you'll share it on your page. But write something like, this is a big summer, whatever. Please watch this video. I'm trying to get this video out there to help people understand what's going on with how powerful the summer is. And I know I kind of diverted off course here, but this is so solstice is very important, is very important to me. And tomorrow night, I will pick somebody because we are filling up with tickets fast. So I'm going to show you what Leo King Elite is, what you can win. Leo King Elite is my awesome new lightworker school that is going to bring not only astrology knowledge in three different tiers, but I created a fourth tier which you can purchase separately, which is a lightworker school, which this lightworker school basically is not only going to teach you how to be a lightworker, but how to build a business. It's all of my business techniques. It's about learning how to truly understand how to make your impact the brightest and make a living doing it and step into your power the most because a lot of people are out there really trying to make this happen. This course with the tier bundle is $1,500 and it literally is a four week course, multiple videos, live videos, assignments and tests and you also can be certified. I'm gonna give away this class for free to somebody who shares that video. So share that video out. So there's a little contest going on there but we are filling up fast. I'm only allowing 50 seats per tier because I can't teach all those other people and do the assignments for more. And literally in the last, since Friday, we've had over 150 emails. I'm almost full. So I can only give away one seat. I would join now. We have payment options. We will work with you if you need to pay through the school. Join at leokingelite.com and email Lauren to find out more. So now we're going to get back to some astrology. I wanted to get that out there because that video is so important and that video needs to get out there. It's like, gosh, I'm trying to get, if there's one video I'm trying to get out there, it's that one, that one, that Palladium message one, and I'll just show it again. Like, like this thing is like the video that describes what this whole summer is about channeled. And I'm going to do another one soon, whenever I feel called and whenever spirit tells me to and another transmission, but for right now, they're screaming, get this message out there. And however I can get it out there, if I gotta give away one seat that's a very important seat that a lot of people want, I'll do it. Just because I wanna get that video out there. Can't stress that one out enough. So the solstice, let's get back to some astrology here. Um, but I wanted to do that for people and give people an opportunity to do that. Um, so the solstice here. Okay. All right. There's a lot to break down with the solstice. Also, we're going to go into the new moon of cancer too. All righty. Okay. Now we're all erased. This solstice is an interesting one. It's interesting because... We're coming into a break zone. The reason why I say that is let's advance to later in the day tomorrow, okay? So here is still the same day. I just had crazy deja vu with that. Anyway, here's three planets in Cancer. This is going to give us a moment to chill out. It's going to give us a moment to relax. It's going to give us a moment to calm things down. Okay, and, and, and that's because we're in between this extreme fiery season and then on top of it, we're kind of in this moment where we've been through all this kind of crazy chaos with Chiron with the squares to it and Neptune with the squares to it and then the Neptune retrograde. So we're trying to come out of a lot of wild west shootout bang energy and we know that ahead... When Mars comes into Leo, where the North Node is, and a solar eclipse, and a new moon 
with the solar eclipse on July 23rd, that period of the rest of the summer is going to be gnarly hot, okay? So there is a break, not much going on. Sure, I mean, a new moon in Cancer is going to be great. We're going to talk about that. But this solstice is coming with a moon exalted in Taurus, which means that we really are about focusing on what's important, not paying attention to bullshit, and focusing on positivity and focusing on our comfort. But it also is a lot of lazy energy. And I think that that's what's going to be kind of crazy is whenever you have a moon in Taurus and Cancer. So, And this is a little lesson. If you got a lot of Taurus and Cancer in your chart, pay attention to your weight, pay attention to relaxing too much because you know those two signs together deal with oh well there's a nice comfy couch right there and some potato chips let's just take a little moment and check off boom you know i i, I help a lot of clients with this alignment you know whether it's like a taurus with a cancer rising or a cancer with a taurus or a lot of cancer and taurus you know you, you're going to deal with putting on energy putting on emotional energy putting on weight holding too much relaxing too much you know, the, the, it's interesting that this is, um, that this, and you know what's funny, and I'm going to cut that off for a second. People are like sharing through YouTube. That's not going to do it. You have to share it from my Facebook. So I won't be able to know that you shared it or pick you if it's from YouTube because I keep getting these notifications up saying uh, like shared. Um, uh, but, but. Like, see how it says shared? I, I, I'm not going to see that that didn't come through uh, Facebook. So if you're sharing it through YouTube, I'm not going to see it because you didn't share it from your, my Facebook. You got you to gotta share it from the Facebook. See how it's already got 74 shares in three minutes? How, this is how I can know who shared it, basically. Well, when I'm on a PC, I can. So... Anyway, we already got 103 people sharing it. Anyway, long story short, just putting that out there. I know I jump around a lot, but jump around, jump around. Yo, yo, jump around. <laughs> anyway, okay. So the lazy aspect. We've got a major summer with so much energy and opening up, but I know we've been through a lot with Neptune retrograde and Chiron. These two aspects have really just kind of blown the energy out. And then on top of it, it's been difficult because, you know, Jupiter, which wants to expand down here in Libra, has been, of course, you know, with a slight square, not a real square, but a minor square to Pluto. It's, you know, it, you know it's, it, it's requiring us to commit if we're going to expand things, you know? Like, we just can't be half-ass. Jupiter square Pluto is like, you know, full on all the way or not. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get the benefits of life if you don't make a commitment, and especially with Capricorn there, and you don't stick to the plan. You don't stick to the plan, guess what? You're not going to get no benefits. It's kind of like a welfare check, you know? It's like if you don't fill it out, you don't try to get some work, we're not going to give you that money. So that's Jupiter square Pluto in a nutshell, you know? It's like I'll give you nothing if you don't commit, I want to see some, some sort of commitment and I'll give you some. So I know that it's been like hard. There's been a lot of energy and it's like, here is a break, but don't take that break too long. When the big energy comes in July with Uranus retrograding with, uh, I mean, there's some powerful shit going on. Have you guys seen what's going on in July yet? Have you guys? Let me enlighten you all real quick. So, in July, Chiron retrogrades right on the 1st. Venus will go into Gemini where it's going to be all in all that stuff, squaring all that, all that Chiron and all that Neptune stuff, right? Jupiter's going to quincunx Neptune finally exactly. It's been kind of like waiting there. They've been sitting there, but they haven't done that yet. Mercury's going to enter Leo and be a crazy wild party. We have a full moon in Capricorn conjunct Pluto. Okay, then Mars enters Leo, then the sun enters Leo, the new moon's at, on July 23rd, boom, conjuncting Mars. That's my real birthday right there. Mercury enters Virgo, and then Venus will go through Cancer. So Venus is finally going to be flying at full speed really fast and go and catch up, it's trying to catch up to the sun. And then of course, Uranus goes retrograde August 3rd, but, you know, the end of July to me, it's right there. There's a shit ton going on here in July. 
So this break of this new moon here, June 23rd to July 1st, and, you know, the beginning part of Venus and Gemini is kind of weak. Jupiter, Queen Cooks, Neptune's not crazy. It's really from na this week to July 9th is the major big, okay, we're entering in a power zone of craziness here. Chiron retrograde is like a little something, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's majorly this stuff that's going to go on. This full moon's going to be the catalyst of the summer right here. It's going to unveil everything, bring everything up, and kaboom it. This moment is a break. The next couple weeks is a break. I mean, it's not going to be like the most craziest astrology in the whole world. You know what I mean? It's like there's going to be some chill time here. So utilize it, but also understand that there's a massive, massive change coming here. You know, let's take a look at the new moon uh, that's coming up here uh, at the end of the week. Okay. So here's the new moon happening on Friday, the 23rd at 7.31 p.m. The big news for this one, of course, it's Sun, Mercury, Moon, Mars in Cancer. Pretty decent space. Nothing crazy going on. Pretty mellow, to be honest with you, and kind of bringing us back to some calmness and, and, and some sanity. It's just Mars, which is squaring Jupiter and try oh wait that's the wrong way trining neptune which you know mars is ready to go off its intuition but it's unsure if those are the right doors to go down and remember you have to make some sort of commitment here so mars is starting to get into some complications and already mars is at its fall position which means that it's hardest and worst spot so as you're comfortable and getting comfortable and getting sane are you going to be able to continue to press forward, you know? It's like sometimes, I don't know why I want to use this movie, but it's an interesting concept. It's like in the Revolutionary War and the movie The Patriot, they create that militia with Mel Gibson and they, they go and start fighting everyone, right? And then finally, when somebody comes to their town and kills some of their wives and the church and everything, a lot of the guys are like, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do this shit no more, you know? There's kind of a moment with this where it's like people are kind of like, okay, things are calming down. Some crazy shit happened. I don't know if I want to get back out there and like really go try things anymore. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm, I'm just over it. I'm unsure. I'm confused. Is this the right thing to do? My intuition says it's the right thing to do, but I don't see really any positive here. I mean, it's kind of looking grim. There's a burnt church right down that street. You know, there's a lot of fear that pops up with all this. And even though there's a lot of, you know, regaining sanity, you're sitting in a sane, non-fearful place with not much. The adventure must go on. Why do you think Saturn's still in Sagittarius, folks? The adventure must go on. No more fear. Can't let that fear come no more. And this is what the chart's showing on this new moon this week is sure, we might come to a great comfortable place. But are you going to overcome that uncomfortable place by going and continuing the adventure towards facing any fears you have of what you know is an intuitively right place to go? And even though it's going to not be the most comfortable journey to get there, you know it's the right thing to do. It's what you must believe in. You must have imagination. And that's why I love Neptune, Quincunx, Jupiter. You know why? Because it really brings true imagination and belief at the highest levels and at the weirdest levels. It makes weird adventures. Especially with Saturn and Sagittarius, it makes weird, weird and wild and out of this world and really crazy adventures that might seem impossible but they are we're gonna take a one minute break don't go nowhere and i'll see you in one minute the leo king app is the world's first and leading video and notification astrology horoscope app for iphone android and computer get daily spiritual videos and addictingly accurate notifications alongside weekly sun sign horoscopes tarot videos and exciting new age entertainment videos by celebrity astrologer and tv personality david palmer the leo king join today you have nothing to lose with a seven day free trial and wake up to astrology like you've never seen before
Wake up to astrology like you've never seen before. We are back, everybody, back here at the Leo King Studios, and we've been talking about this new moon, we've been talking about the solstice, how important it is, and what to pay attention to with this solstice about this summer, and how powerful this summer is. If you're just catching us now live, it looks like we just got people joining us a lot more, keep on joining the crew. There is an awesome video I did, the Palladian message, summer of 2017, which you can... Oh, well, we had it there for a second. We'll bring it back up there. Uh, you know, you know, guys, how YouTube is. Da, 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 da. Anyways, uh, this video is super important because I think that this video truly helps define facing your fear and overcoming your fear and stepping into it. And I'm asking for people to spread this message out um, because I'm really trying to get this message vocal. I mean, I'm doing it through live stream and all this stuff. But by tomorrow, for whoever has shared it on my Facebook, so if you go to my Facebook, right, okay, David Lawrence Palmer, and you look at it, we've already got 167 shares. So one person out of that 167 people will win a free ticket to my Awesome Leo King Elite School Academy, whatever you call it. I just want to call it the Empowerment Zone, where we're all learning together. And that's at Leo, the Leo King or just LeoKingElite.com. And you can find out more about it there. You can watch some testimonials about me. If you don't know much about me, you can watch the commercial about the school. You can learn about the school. You can learn the about. There are only limited seats available. I'm only allowing 50 seats per tier, and we're already almost out of seats. We had everybody bombard us on Friday, and the reason why is we have payment plans that are awesome. So um, if you're ready to leave a mark, contact us. But the thing is, is on every tier, we not only have to where you can make like pay half deposit now and half by the school, and we even have some financial assistance where we'll pay for the school for you while you're in it, but you're making payments to us during the school, not after the school though. I can't because you could just disappear on me. So, but you know, there are options to put a little deposit down and make payments through the school and save up until it starts next month and so forth or whatever. We will work with you, but I'm giving away one seat tomorrow um, to try and get that message out there about Leo King Elite, but you have to share it from David Lawrence Palmer. Okay, I think I think I made that myself clear, but you'd be surprised. I get a million emails with the craziest stuff, like I shared something and it didn't happen or whatever. Anyway, hope that helps there. But you know, it is the solstice, so I wish you all the best this summer. This is a summer or winter, wherever you're at in the world, that I would not waste. I would use it. We showed earlier on how much fire is in the air this summer. It will be a hot, 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 hot summer. Not because of global warming, not because of any of that crap, whatever you want to call it. It's because there's a freaking shit ton of planets in fire, okay? There's a solar eclipse in Leo and the North Node in Leo. I was just out literally this weekend in Lake Havasu. It was 129 degrees on Body Beach. And for most of the time, the average was 124 degrees. No joke. It's going to be a hot summer, folks, okay? There's going to be some crazy weather. There's going to be some wild things that happen. It's going to be explosive. There's going to be some crazy stuff going on. And it's going to be a wild summer. Do not waste it. It's going to be the biggest adventure of your life. You do not want to be afraid of it. Do not be afraid of it. That's what it's all about. Face and fear right now. Um, of course, we'll be there Friday to do the... Uh, spiritual dance music to help people through with the new moon like we always are there of course we're with you every day on the leo king app but leo king elite's a big deal oh last thing before i go i'm sure people want to know um if you want to do the july webinar tomorrow it's available for registration for next week i am doing it on the 29th thursday at 5 p.m pacific so thursday the 29th 5 p.m pacific 8 p.m. Eastern will be the live awesome webinar where I take questions and everything. Anyways, that, that stuff will be up tomorrow. You'll be seeing stuff tomorrow. I'll announce the winner tomorrow. I'm going to just do it in the afternoon because I don't have time for people to just sit there and wait to hopefully win uh, a ticket uh, because I have way too many people trying to get in the school. So tomorrow at like 2 p.m. Oh, well, yeah, I'm done with readings at 2. So about 3 p.m. Pacific, I will pick somebody. So... 
it will go good. I appreciate you guys all, you know, all. Please, please spread that video. I think it'll help out so much. Okay, some people are saying, like, you know, what's up with the gossip? I got a text. Like, I thought you were going to gossip. I'm trying to think what gossip I have. Well, everybody wanted to know if how I got hurt. Uh, so, like, um, oh, I don't really have a picture. Well, maybe I do. Um, I got hurt this weekend. Um, it wasn't fun. Yeah, I don't have any pictures. Well, here's me and Leanna. So we were out. That's one of my jet ski, one of our jet skis, and then I have another race one. And I was out on Body Beach, uh, this place that. Um, uh, actually, I think I do have the pictures. Um, yeah. So right here is where I practice. See this? This is like the race course right here. This is a practice course. So I was coming around these turns, and I wasn't wearing all my gear because it was like 129 degrees right here. It was really hot, you know? And I had to have the easy up up and, oh, little love picks. Um, my friend Javier was out there. It was hot. But anyways, I was racing around. Usually I wear gear like Javier is wearing, like a full suit, neck brace. I was wearing a practice helmet I have that's all banged up. I was just not even wearing gloves. And I was wearing board shorts. I just was like, I don't care. I was hot, okay? Long story short, I flew off the ski and literally cracked a rib. Like, it is not feeling good. Bruised a rib, whatever you want to call it. Knocked the wind out of me. Then I just went hard and ran for 12 hours in 129 degree in heat. Got, like, heat exhaustion. All my muscles, you know, I, I, just, I just wore myself out. Then I went to a funeral this weekend. And that was really hard for my dear friend, John Hensley. And uh, I spoke. I uh, read a couple sermons. I actually kind of led the, the wake and uh, got it started and said the opening statements and words. And I uh, did a special video for him. Some of you guys might have saw it on um, my Facebook. But um, so anyway, it, it, was, uh, it, was a, it was a crazy weekend. That was my Chiron experience. Then... We're out at the lake, so I get hurt, like Chiron-ish, like on my side. Bah. And then my trailer lights break and go out. Like one of them busted out. One of them did something else. You know, it's like all this crazy shit happened. No joke. And I was up for, I was in a parking lot yesterday for three hours trying to fix my trailer just so I can get home to get the lights running because they broke. Like literally we hit a bump and cracked the lights and I was underneath and trying with, with my tools in 124 degree heat on the concrete with my wife holding an umbrella. Like it was gnarly and we're sweating and we're yelling because we're just like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. We're like, where's the water? Where, where's some relief? We're like looking at God like, why God? Why? I'm like, this is so sun square Chiron. It was just, and then, you know, I got a blood blister, uh, you know, by fixing things. I know that's so pussy, but, um, you know, it's sorry. I'm from Cali, you know, like I'm California. We don't even say Cali, but you know, it's like, we say crazy things. No disrespect to women out there. Anyway. Um, it was just, you know, cracked rib. I, I, the last thing I needed was like those things. And then to drive home last night, at 8.30 at night for a four-hour drive in the middle of the desert when you're beat and your lights aren't working exactly the way you want to in a brand new trailer, it was just like, it was just like, there's, there's, you know, I think I learned, you know, after my best friend John and Godfather John's passing, like, you got to live life and you got to keep living and you got to live it with happiness and you just, you know what, even when the crap ha hits, you just got to live it and you got to love every little thing that's going on. And I think that was a lot of lesson I learned this weekend that I hope I could share with you. Anyway, share that video. Free contest for a free thing for the class. If you want financial aspect and assistance, we've got it for you with making payments to the class and stuff. But there's limited seats of those available because there's only 50 seats for each tier and people have money. So I would... Get on it now. Make the emails if you want to join Leo King Elite. I'll show the website one more time. Um, 
I've gone through a lot to get this school up. I've been thinking about it for years and I did it years ago with my webinars, but I was sick of doing it with webinars because part of this school, not only are you live with people in the Facebook group, I can actually live stream to the group. So the school is actually going to be like this with video and with me and with assignments and then other videos I do um, that are going to continue throughout the school. So and you're going to take a test. And I'm going to write letters of recommendation for those that score the highest. And an opportunity to be a reader on the Leo King app and on my site to where you can have instant business right away. Where I'm going to feature you. I'm going to do interviews with you. And I'm going to pretty much make you a star on the new network I'm building right now. I am building a new app and a whole entire new spiritual network right now. And... I'm trying to find people for that. And part of it is I got to create a school to make sure that the people are vetted correctly and they know all the stuff that I know to do it right. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. It's not so much about doing astrology out there in the world, even though I think that's a great thing. But the big thing is on this huge network that I'm building right now and the network that I already have. But the new network is going to be amazing and i'm not looking for just astrologers like this school this light worker school is much more than astrology it has also to do with all modalities and even modalities i haven't even thought about yet light working comes at an aspect where it, whatever it is and how you show your light you might have special ways of showing your light that i don't know about I spread my light through doing my spiritual dance music. Nobody really does that, you know, where I talk astrology and tarot and do the music. That's like my best modality. That's better than, you know, or these live streams or, you know, horoscope videos, whatever. Like who, everybody has their own thing. But, you know, I'm trying to find people that can, you know, fill this network up and be instant stars. I've already got the backing. I've already got all the investors. I've already, I've already got it all lined up. It's already all being developed. So... This is a chance to be part of something that doesn't exist and will be the only thing that has the energy and the power to go somewhere at the moment. Ride my Leo coattails right now with this North Node solar eclipse on my rising sign. Don't mess around. Thanks so much for all the support. Anyway, I'm out of here. I got to go. It's hotter than you know what in here. I was about to say it's hotter than balls. I just said it. And uh, anyway, love you guys. I'm sending you all the best. Hope you guys uh, are doing good out there. We're... Through the Chiron, the solstice is going to be great. It's going to move us into the next chapter, which is the big chapter of the year. Don't mess around with this fire. Use it. Don't abuse it. And I will see you guys on the next time. I'll see you in the app tomorrow. Thanks so much. Later. The Leo King app is the world's first and leading video and notification astrology horoscope app for iPhone, Android, and computer. Get daily spiritual videos and addictingly accurate notifications alongside weekly sun sign horoscopes, tarot videos, and exciting new age entertainment videos by celebrity astrologer and TV personality David Palmer, the Leo King. Join today. You have nothing to lose with a seven-day free trial and wake up to astrology like you've never seen before. Wake up to astrology like you've never seen before.